Good evening everybody. My name is Kevin. I'm a geek and welcome to Kevin the Geek. This is my channel. This is episode 3 of the Red Dead Redemption 2 story campaign. This is my first time playthrough. This is all completely blind. Let's get to it. So what happened last time out in episode 2? Well, we finally got down off the mountains. We robbed the train. Um, we robbed the train of a gentleman called, uh, if I remember correctly, Leviticus Cornwall, who seems to be some sort of oil, um, I don't know, manufacturer, merchant, something. Basically a guy with lots and lots of money. Um, and we sort of wanted to Robin Hood him. You know, we wanted to steal his, uh, his riches and give to the poor, i.e., ourselves um so once we've done that obviously we needed to travel and get down off the mountains um and we moved into a lovely camp it seems um we literally stopped right there pretty much as we got to the camp so today we are gonna get on see what is going on uh, in this camp see what the countryside is like and try and just kind of muddle our way through kind of get an, uh, an idea of what the uh, what the general gist is or, or the general controls because so far I've done it sort of through the sort of tutorials and I'm a little bit rusty shall we say uh, at this point it, it's a little bit uh, hit and miss in, in, uh, in the controls hopefully um, we'll get used to them and um, at the moment I'm running the horse that we've got is that my horse throughout do we get other ones because I'll tell you what I have a penchant for a black horse. I want to get a black horse and I want to give it a name. A name of my own. I want to call it Tornado. I want to call it Tornado because I'm a big fan of um, the the Legend of Zorro. And I love the uh, the movies, the, the, the Mask of Zorro and the Legend of Zorro with, of course, Antonio Banderas. And, uh, uh, and uh, in, in the first one, uh, Anthony Hopkins. I love the black horse and I love the name Tornado, especially in, in pronounce it that Spanish way rather than Tornado. Tornado is a bit weird, but Tornado. I want a horse called Tornado. So, maybe we'll get to do that today. Who knows? Let's have a look. So, we've got our camp and... Good morning, Arthur. Good morning to you, sir, whoever you are. I, I think you're the German guy. Your hair... somebody, I think, from memory. Can I lick your plate when you're done? Don't mess with me, please. Okay, so that's the guy. Oh, is that the guy we lassoed in, uh, I think it was two episodes ago. So this is our camp, and clearly we have to um, kind of get provisions for the camp, effectively, and we've got to do stuff. So you tell you what, shall we maybe go see if we can uh, hunt something? We did a bit of hunting last time, we got a bit of a tutorial for that. Um, I wonder, can we maybe find something? Turn around. Not in camp, no. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning to you, sir. Breaks over, boy. Okay, so let's have a little mosey around the countryside. Let's have a little look, see around. Oi! I don't know exactly where we're going at the moment. Oh. Don't know why that suddenly came up. Oh, wow, look at that. That looks beautiful. Oh. There's some stuff. Can we? Uh... Oh, there's something. Right. 
Oh, god damn it! Alright, let's see some, uh, some things up there. Let's see if we can just sneak up on them. It'd be great if we can get something on our first day for camp. Oh wow. Did I get something? I think I got something. I did. Oh. Mm. All right. Probably wasn't a good one. Oh. A poor proghorn hide. You know what? Let's see if we can get a better one. So I think we can do better. I, di I didn't do it very well. I got a rabbit. Oh my god. Uh, a good rabbit pal that one was. Right, well I think we can... Uh, yeah, we can get a rabbit. Definitely saw him running up this way. I love that you can get your arrows back, that's really good. Oh! Oh, no, don't want that. Here we go. Close can we get? Just nice and calmly. Oh, he's moving. Headshot. 
I think, I think I did, I think it was a headshot. Headshot in one. That should be a perfect one, I believe. Is that a perfect one? Oh, it's a poor one? Oh. Damn it. When you get a literal headshot, surely that must be a great one. That's a shame. But nevertheless, we've got something for camp. We've got a... But it says it's a prog horn. I don't know what a prog horn is. Is it a, like a deer? When it says it's a doe, I'm, get, I'm guessing it must be a... Bad, uh, um, yeah, it must be a... Uh, Uh, like a deer. Okay. Well, I've done my good deed for today. Brought you some uh, some sustenance. Ooh, got a bit of blood on me. Oop. You mean lie? Come on, boy. Shut up. Meant to hitch. That didn't work. There we go. Now, what do I actually do with the uh, with the dough? Don't know how I actually give it to the camp. How long does it take, Pearson? Uh, I'll take it to the uh, the butcher guy. Arthur. Arthur. Mr. Pearson is going to be happy with that. Mm-hmm. All right, here, make it quick. Uh. You know, these hides and furs can also be done up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's there you go. Maybe I didn't have to carry it all the way over there, actually. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on him sometime. Yeah, yeah, I know. Thanks, Pearson. This is going in the pot. Can't wait to taste this. There we go. There you go. Thank you, Arthur. You're very welcome. Do we actually have some food now? Can I can I help what myself to it, some Arthur? food? Oh, I can. A bowl of stew. When you grab a bowl of stew, you'll need to wait a few days before being able to grab another. Okay, fair enough. Jesus Christ, oh, look at my lovely jacket. Oh, it's very steamy. How you get on out there, Mr. Morgan? Fine. Mm, what's it mm -hmm. like? A decent place. Do you like the meat I brought you? Fools to rob. We'll be okay. As long as we don't linger too long. Do you mind if I just eat my yeah, goddamn yeah, stew yeah, right now? Good. And we're gonna need to make a decent bit of money if we're gonna get out of this hole. Mm. Uh, I know. Now, can I eat my stew now? Yummy. And I'll just throw it on the goddamn floor right there. Right. Uh, so we need to see some people here. So do we go to the the RS or the U? Let's go to the U because it was near the horse. Play dominoes? Hell yeah. All right, dominoes. Well, let's give you something to eat, boy. Hmm. What does this study do? Ah, right. this is your main horse. So does that mean you can get a, a a different one then? That's cool. That's cool to know. So we can get another horse. 
I want to get Tornado. Um, hang on, where's the you person? Oh, is this it? Uncle? Who's Uncle? Oi! Ow! Oh, oh! Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Mm. Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive. Why should he clean all of a sudden? Don't think all day. Don't see anything out of the blood on my shoulder now. Where are we living, Arthur Morgan? Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Oh, sure, I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. Mm -hmm. If you gonna take the old man into town, you take us too. Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on, then. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. Let's go. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Okay, so let's see this uh, this Valentine then. Ladies, sing us a song. Oh, I thought it was a train for a second. Oh! Is one of you going to get that fella's horse? Well, I got lumbago. We're going to help him? All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Oh, the white one? Whoa! I'd really appreciate the help. I I'm worried this one here will bolt on me. Yeah, I'll feet. help you, mate. Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white hey there, one. hey there. You can do it, Arthur. Whoa there, easy. Hey there, boy. There you go. That's all you need. There's a good boy. I want to give you a name. Derek. Derek the horse. I don't know why. I think Derek is a good name for this horse. Good boy. Go on, Derek. There you go. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. There you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, thanks. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. Yeah. <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. Oh, is that Valentine up ahead? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards? Yeah, yeah. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest. You oh, there's the train. I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> There we 
we go. Yeah, boy. Uh, out of the way. Is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure mm. don't want to be back up there. No, you don't. We should have asked Molly to come with us. Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. See what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Sure, you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid oh, you people are in the way. Get out of the way. You got run over. Oh, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably yes, I not. will. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Near the stables? Do you have to like buy horses or do you just find them in the wild or what? Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self respecting maniac does put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. How the awful. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the... We got the Saints, Saints Hotel. <laughs> okay. Uh, looks like a house I'm being built. Ask why. You are a sad uh, General man, store. But I know you love me. Over there. Oh, you're in a pair. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very <laughs> funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Okay, then. Let's go in. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Some coffee? The list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Oh, grand coffee. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Okay. Okay, well that was easy. Just take what you want, put it in your pocket. Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got oh. something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train right. laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed Why? easy. They haven't gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, God. <laughs> there's Tilly over there. That... Does not look ideal. Excuse uh, me. No. Get your hands off me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get off of me. Excuse me, sir. I've been looking too long. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. 
<laughs> or what exactly? I'll beat you up we'll if out. necessary. But I don't, don't want to do it in front of a lady. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Alright. Let's find Karen. Come on! Try and help can I help you, sir? I, d I do all I can manage. I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid 20s, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Well, thank you very much. I'll try not to cause any any mischief. No trouble now, please. I'll try not to. Two uh, C. So is it 2B, then 2A, then 2C? That's a bit of a random order. Excuse me. I'm getting what I paid for. Excuse me. Hey! How are you? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. Oh. Oh. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. Yeah, everything's fine. Just had to beat him up, you know. The usual stuff. It's after you. Thank you, Arthur. You're welcome. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched oh. me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy. Come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get! I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Oh, yeah. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah! yeah. Yeah, I, I'm just coming down here. I'll bring it back. Get back here right now. Come on. Oh, sorry. Where are you? There you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in Blackwater. Th then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. Please. Hmm. Do we help him or do we let him go? Uh, you know, let's help him. Might come back to bite us in the ass, but I would be a friendly outlaw. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Well, clearly, you talk about black water, you will I think be. It's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. 
Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Hmm. A steel pen. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man. Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. Right. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. Jimmy Brooks, you better go. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Come on, then. Do we return the horse? Or do we keep him? Now we return him. Right. Can't remember exactly. Is it that the? Is that the direction? I'm gonna guess that's the, the rough direction where we were. There's some uh, things in here. Did we like trample something? Maybe we did. Maybe we. Uh... Oh, that's grim. Yeah, I, th I think we sort of trampled the chickens, clearly. Stay up. So is this Valentine? Where do we give the horse back to? Is this way somewhere? It's not very clear where I return the horse to. Hello there. Is this where we give it back to? Yes, no, maybe, feedback's full. Who do I give the horse to? Fountain uh, thing, doctor, barber, saloon. General store. I want to give the horse back, but I don't know who I give it back to. Come on, ladies, this is my horse! 
Oh. Am I glad to see you? Ah, you're the guy. I think. Oh, this guy. Is this guy? Here's your horse back, friend. Ah, there you go. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. Well, I don't know where you were, mate. I guess you forgot hmm? about the interest. <clears throat> Looks like you need a lesson. Oh. Whoa. Oh, Driscoll's will see you under. <clears throat> Bet you're rethinking your choices now. <clears throat> Pathetic. <clears throat> Whoa. Stop slapping and start punching. Oh. 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 Shit. It's all Whoa. Over. Oh. What the hell? Oh. Every one of us O'Driscoll's gonna piss on your grave. Oh. oh. Witness murder. Oh. Oh. Calm down, the law will handle this. You get far away from me. Not a move. Okay. Two Think choices. We all need to Either calm raise them or die where you stand. Too late. Whoa. I know it, bitch, is a dead man. Whoa. Well, well, I was trying to save someone, now I was trying to save my own life. Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. I ain't got a horse. Because Uncle ah. rode off. Oh! I'm trying to get away. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. I now got to run all the way back to camp. Can you gain or lose weight? Okay, so you can gain and lose weight. So if you do lots of running and stuff, then you probably uh, lose weight if you don't do much stuff. And you, you know, you eat loads of food and stuff. <gasps> oh, excuse me. And you, you, know, you eat loads of food, but you don't do much running. You're gonna get fat, basically. <sighs> Not again. 
There's my horse back that way. So my horse was up there. I could have had my horse all along. Bloody hell. There you are! So you did leave my house there after all that time. Bloody Nora. Okay, boy. Let's go. <sighs> Alright. Well, at least I learned don't uh, murder people, basically, in, 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 uh, in, in, uh, in the town or anything. Oh, is that a dog? Should I shoot the dog? No. You can't shoot a dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't want to fall down there. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a rabbit. Something about to camp after getting killed. Oh, I think I see something over there. We got here. Is this a turkey or something? It is a turkey. Bird meat, yum. There we go. Let's go, boy. Yeah. 
At least we've got something to bring back to camp for the day's adventure. Oh, didn't I uh, see something? Say that's saying you could pick some. I don't know, some stuff. No? I thought there was something. Oh, and I climbed off. Oh, you could pick some herbs or something? No? Am I wrong? No? Okay. Okay, boy. Alright. Oh. What are these? Oh. Me now. Oh, that just kill. Where's it gone? Where's it just gone? I know I just killed it. Huh? Or did it fall over the head? Oh. That was a shame, I wasted a bullet. I've oh, been a fox or something. That would have been a nice thing to bring back as well. Got plenty of meat, clearly. Right. Oh, so you're beautiful. You'd be a good one to take. Uh, where do I hitch up? All right, don't get all worked up. I want to hitch you. Yeah. Oh. Oh, dude. He's been a bit of a weird stuff. Right, well, let's give you my uh, my turkey without giving you my turkey. The big man! The big man! Was that big man or pig man? Right, so you can have... Uh Yeah, you can have all of them. Okay then. There you go. Maybe I'll keep these ones for myself. Job, You're very welcome. Howdy. Howdy partner. Right. Should we really be giving any money when we literally have got murdered and uh, when trying to save my own skin? Mm. Well, it looks like we've got 62 cents I, I can spare. I like to have a nice even uh, number. There you go. I've got $47. And then we want to make it night time because it's a little bit dark I don't really really doing too much uh, horse riding in the dark but should we do a bit of a shave shall we give ourselves a little bit of a trim I don't know why I fancy him sort of being a bit of a mutton chop man I don't know why yeah let's do it be a bit of a mutton chop man I think Arthur Morgan's a mutton chop man uh, okay. Oh, that's quite cool. You can say how long you want to sleep for. Let's go to noon.
So whoever has uh, just joined the uh, stream and obviously said howdy to me, then uh, obviously uh, you know you're you're very well very welcome. Uh, welcome to Peter. Welcome to Peter. Okay, right. So who are we going to go see now? We've got this R S or H. Let's go see H. I don't know who H is. Just joined. What have you done so far in this episode? What we've done so far in this episode? Um, we took a trip into uh, into Valentine, and um, uh, we uh, we bought some coffee. We uh, stopped a guy from uh, messing with our girls. Uh, actually, well, we stopped two guys from messing with the girls, and then. Uh, chase after a guy who apparently knew that we were from Blackwater, which I still don't know anything about this Blackwater. Clearly, something bad has happened at some point in the past. Um, so we need to dig a bit deep and find out what that is. I mean, intrigued to know what that is. Because clearly, it's something really bad. Because we had to chase after the guy and decide whether we were going to uh, save him. Um, as we fell off uh, uh, a cliff, or whether we um, wanted to, um, you know, you know, help him back up and everything, we decided to help him. And for our troubles, we got a lovely steel pen. Uh, but we made sure that that guy knows he does not dilly dally with us. And then after I, I took the horse back to the original owner, I thought I didn't have my horse back, so I had, thought I had to walk back. And then I saw a guy beating up a guy from the trees. So I thought, you know, I want to help him. And they started attacking me just as I walked up to them. I didn't do anything, just walked up to them, started getting beaten up. And then, um, you know, of course, I defend myself. And I, I punch back and everything. I accidentally pull out my gun and shoot him. And, of course, then people want me for murder. Of all the things, I'm trying to run away and then I get killed. And then that's pretty much what you caught, caught us up. <laughs> was it? Oh, we're going hunting. What are you hunting? An elephant? I wish. No, I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. A I bear? A thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. A it's bear? A couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I'm so I'm just confused by that bare this point okay. that you, you just said. Ain't no Hopefully you have a better aim than last episode when you went hunting. Now, unruly <laughs> bastard. Where'd you get him? So Hopefully it's a bit big, easier. But I've already done a bit of hunting today. I brought back some turkeys. Right, so I, brought back some rabbits. Well, you know, I brought back I um, a, 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 a deer. It's on the way. So sort of, there's a decent And yet you want there. us to go and get a bear. Buy yourself a new horse. Really? Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Uh, uh, I guess you're right. Oh. oh. This is going to uh. be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Stand next to my new horse. Is this my new horse? Don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Oh. Is this Tornado? Is this my new horse? Is this the one that I said right at the start? I wanted, I wanted a big black horse. Easy, big fella. Oh. Let's head into town. This is a Tornado. If I not to get killed by this bear at all, I'll be impressed. He's a beast. He's a beast, is he? Oh, God. I mean, I've just been killed just by... Just walking, so I'm uh, not gonna lie. I'm a bit now apprehensive. I'm not going for a bear. That turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy, threatened to kill the whole town, and Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. Came back in the next day, and he woke up, started right back drinking again. <laughs> uh, Absolutely beautiful, this landscape. 
She had some spot, that girl. Dude, can you Come decide on, where you're going, going please? You tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. Lenny and Jenny. Arthur and Martha, or <laughs> Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe you're right. Peter, uh, Peter and Rita. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Kevin Bev. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You hey, you got seventy-two dollars back account? Not yet. You're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. <laughs> Right. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. I've got a big bastard. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Howdy. Howdy. Stables are just up ahead. I thought I thought we I thought we're going for a a bear. Why are we going to stables if we're going all right. for a bear? Go sell that big brute. Sell him? Oh. Buy a horse. Oh, okay. buy yourself a horse. Oh, nice. Going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. Okay. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Yeah. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got I some beauty I'm selling at the moment. a black horse to get a black horse. Yeah. That, that's my criteria. I want a black horse. This one here. You looking to sell? I show sure, you. Yeah. You got papers? No, no papers. Well, of course that's gonna affect what I can pay, but your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. Mm -hmm. Pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Yeah, take a look. Okay. Well, we're gonna sell him. Right. Oh. He's basically the one I would want. But I can't go for him. So, gotta go for this one, apparently. You know what? In honour of you joining this stream. Peter, I'm naming this horse after you. Let's buy Peter. This is Peter. Peter the horse, welcome. I'm honored. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. Look at that! I mean, they're going to some blooming details on this game, don't they? Uh, maybe don't move your tail around there, sir. That's some big balls. Peter's got big balls. Ooh. You look like a bit of a mohawk guy, Peter. Let's give you a mohawk. Again, I'm honoured. <laughs> uh, no, we'll leave it as it, as it is for now. All right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. I hope Peter doesn't suddenly get killed now by by this bear that you're talking about. Here are your papers. That wouldn't be uh, that wouldn't be very not good. Me. A new grooming brush and some treats. <laughs> well, thank you very Appreciate much. Yeah. All right, you you treat this fellow well. I know he's going to look after you just fine. Interesting choice. Well, I wanted the big black horse, but $450. Okay. Well, 
With some good care, you should be able to make something of it. There we go. Right, let's get going. Come along then, Peter. Let's go. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. Uh-huh. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. So we're going up to the mountains. Do we have to, to like to change behind. our clothes? I'm sure he does. It said something about like like hot weather and cold weather and stuff. One thing, but there's cold. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised. I know, but it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long, and you know it. Maybe, but please don't you put that to the test. Uh, I never would. They really put a lot of effort in here, didn't they? Okay, I think we need to head right up here. To ba Bacchus Bridge, is that? Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. Moonstone We're going the Pond. Right way. I'm coming, Jose. Oh, ask about Sean. Ask about. Let's ask about Sean. Oh, if we can catch up to him. Yeah. So, what do you think about Sean? You reckon he's all right? Who knows? I sure hope so. But it's been a while now. Somebody said he got knocked out in Blackwater. Yeah. But I, I wish they'd just tell us what happened up, in Blackwater. Picked off. Or got away. If there's one thing Sean McGuire's good at, it's wriggling out of things. Yeah. Yes, we don't know nothing. Sean is apparently a good wriggler. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. Don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin Where the Where are the rabbits? Best thing's a bow or a twenty-two caliber varmint rifle. I have they... hunted rabbits before, you know. Where are they yes. gone? And obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. Are they down here at the bottom? Ah, oh, there they are. Hey, stop moving. Stop moving. I can get you. I was gonna get you. Oh. Oh, there you are. There you go. Got it in one. Oh, so on the horse. So he said, take it to Jose. 
Here you go, Peter. Have a rabbit. Good job. All right. It's getting late. Reckon we should camp here. Sure. Camp up here. Oh, okay. Now then, you get a set up. Oh. Uh, switch the item wheel. Aha! Uh -huh. Camp. That was nice and easy. Well, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. Rabbit roasting on an open fire. I don't know if I'd eat that already. That that's very quick to cut. You want some cook this? that? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. Nah, one'll do. One's enough for me. <sighs> all right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. <sighs> Okay. Well, let's you sleep until morning. All this drama. <coughs> morning, Arthur. You ready? Well, oh, give me a minute. He's actually Coffee? slept with his hat on. Sure. There you go. That's it. That's that's some skill. So, Lying down on your back with your hat on. Well, we'll Not see how if we can place. track them, but we might need to lay bait to draw them out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, okay. bears. I tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains. Potent predator bait. Okay. okay. Gritty fish meat and blackberry. Apparently. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Okay. I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Come on, grab your stuff. Okay. Okay, let's go. Uh, where's Peter? Oh, there he is. Here. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse before? treating you? So far, so good. Yeah, uh, Pete, Pete, we got a good bond. I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the life? No, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. Mm -hmm. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if you can shoot them plans birds work, that are in the sky, we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new. Maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's slip by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign of... Yeah, 
There it is. Oh, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Can you see the paw print? I can't see the paw print. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. A legendary bear, apparently. Not just any bear, it's a legendary bear. The tracks to one of those trees. Yeah, I can see a fish. I see the fish this time. Half eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. Oh, is there another one? Something else on the ground, just here. Bear shit here. Watch your step. Bear shit. Yep. Fresh. Reckon he's got to be close. Let's keep going. Like frail ends here. We lost him? For now. A, a little optimism, Arthur. Uh, well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Uh, it's splitting up a good idea. Probably not. Let's I... use the bait. Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. So I'm here. Uh, where is that? Ah, oh, there it is. Wait for the bear. A thousand pounds, you say? Just realize I've only got a little sidearm. That's maybe not a good. Maybe I should have got my bigger gun. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Come on. We only um, just said it, Jose. I'm a bit nervous. We need to do this right. This is kind of squeaky bum time. We have here. Got your knife? Uh oh. Oh. Easy. You're a big fucker. <laughs> Return to the area alone to track it. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. <laughs> it's nothing. Nothing. Did even all. attack us? Thank you. Thing. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> he said it, it gave stole where thing. to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Well, uh, you coming? Not right now. 
I, I, I don't know why I've got a feeling I need a bigger then. gun for him. Yeah, when I've got a bigger gun, rather than a shitty little revolver, I think I'll be okay. I mean, what? We, we gave him, what, four or five shots? Didn't even flinch, it seemed. Let's see if Dutch gives us any crap about disappearing like that. I don't need another, we gotta be out there making money speech. We were just out scoping a lead. He doesn't need to know it was a big furry one. Well, thanks, Arthur. I probably owe you one. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you I do. Need to head out to Emerald Ranch soon. Look into something. See you later. Perfect. Okay then. Let's go and see this uh, R S. Whoever this R S is. So H is clearly Hosea. You gonna join us? Join us, join us for what? No? No? Okay. I thought you wanted this for something. Um, oh, hang on. Where's this RS person then? Oh, Reverend Swanson. Oh, it's a little while away. Or Javier Escuela. Um, who do we go see? Peter, any any uh, any thoughts? Should we go with see Reverend Swanson, or uh, well, actually, I've just realised we've got apparently well, yeah we've still got bounty on us even though we got killed. So maybe. Dude, we got a bounty for the whole area. Uh. Ah, well, you can always pay the bounty off at the post office. At the post office, and and where is the post office? Uh, where's the post office? Ah, there's the post office. Good shot. Well, let's do that. And then, uh, Let me rest in the sun. It's good and then we can, um, you are cool. oh, Arthur, and then, then we can see Javier. I never knew I could be so cold. Mm. I know, Mary I don't want to go up there anytime soon again. I like it here. Are you following me? Are we? New Hanover. New Hanover. My Lord. <laughs> My mother came from somewhere here. You know where? No, I hardly know much about her. She died when I was young. Yeah. Mine too. Mine too. Sorry, is there any way we can leave this until later? Okay, sorry. Yeah. No yeah, I just need to uh, go and pay off the bounty for, you know, the bounty I've got for saving my own life, you know? Come on, Peter. Let's go. What an awkward conversation. That was so really weird. I don't know what was going on about. Oh. Yeah! And this is an actual beer this time. Beer this time. Let's, uh, let's skin it first. And 
maybe we can sell it at the butchers. Who's doing all this shooting? I'm concerned that they're trying to shoot at me and I, and I don't know anything yet. Let's go to the post office. Maybe if I go on the train tracks, I'll avoid. Uh, I was about to say I'll, I'll avoid. Uh, So this is the post office, is it? Uh, train tickets. Howdy, nice to see you. Ah, there you go. Be a lot easier for you once you're all square. There we go. Sorted. Her will. Bounty paid. I'll be with you in just a moment. Okay, boy. Yep. I don't seem to recall hearing mention of that much. Alright, so let's go to this butcher's and then we'll go and see uh what was the guy's name? Have Javier? It's all kind, right? I'm pretty sure I saw the butchers this sort of way, somewhere near the stables. Ah yes. Just what me you do? Nowhere else. Good to see you back. Okay. What can we sell? Um, I've got book handlers. Alright, first of all, you have that for deer. Coming by with these lately. Naturally. People really enjoy that. The more trouble you cause in a certain town, the more hostile the town's people will be to you. You'll start to get comments said to you now. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm going to keep the buck handlers because I think you have to use them for crafting and stuff. Oh, we try not to cause too much travel, uh, tr travel, trouble. Uh, yeah, we try to be quite honourable, you know. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Give generously, for that is what this country needs to help each other. Yeah, let's let's just give it a quick little brush down. You're being really good to us. Yeah, I'll stay there, boy. Oh, you're very dusty there, Peter. Um, but I have something to eat. I've heard. Yeah, have an oat cake. And then we go to the saloon to meet up with uh, Javier. <laughs> yeah! Alright, there we go. This one? Oh, oh no, they're there. Arthur, come here, come here, come over here. I want you to meet our friends. God, that's a mighty nice fine touch. Well, ain't you just a toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly, yes, he's a pussy Brown. cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. 
How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse oh, me. charming. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. There he is. Watch where you're going. Are well, you about pal. to kiss that guy or punch him? Huh? Oh, I guess we found out. Oh, God. Go on. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Oh, game. There we go. Give me my hat back. Come on. Dum dum dum. Who's this? Greaser. Oi! Don't hit me with a chair. We've not got them back to you. That's not very nice. Please do it to me face. How come his hat doesn't fall off? There you go. I'm doing. Oh, he's like a man mountain. Damn it! My hat! Oh! Pretty boy. God damn it. Get up, get up, Arthur! Smash his face, Tommy. Tommy, his name's Tommy. He looks like a Tommy, I don't know why. Ooh! Ooh! Get up, you son of a bee. Cause Mickey loves you. Papa, come on! Knee him in the balls! There you go! I need a wash now. I need a proper wash. Just knock his block off! Stop! Please! Please! I beg you, stop! Come, sir. You won the fight already, surely that's enough! What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see. Oh, Where's my hat gone? Look who we found. Hey, hey, Dutch. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater. The wood looks looking really good, I'll tell you what. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean. Sean? You found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying oh. to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! <laughs> Well, then we're dead men for sure. They're 
there'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Have you been for a Arthur, drink with Lenny yet? Go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Lenny, Lenny, what Lenny. What about me? I don't think so. The name well, doesn't ring a bell anyway. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. Yeah, don't just wash your face, mate. You need to get your lovely vest clean again now. And I want my hat. I want my hat back. There's my hat. If I was about to say, could I loot them? But clearly I can't. No. Well, at least I got my hat packed. That's the most important thing. Saloon there. Uh, is this drink thing that with Lenny that you're talking about? Is this an actual, um, an actual like mission type thing, or is it just something you do? Yay mission. Yeah mission. Okay. So brilliant. It's brilliant. <laughs> Okay, uh, no, clearly I, I don't think I, I have yet. No, that's not my hills. Peter, where are you? Here you are, good boy. Alright, so clearly we want to go it see this, uh, that we the this uh, gifts Reverend Swanson. I think that's the only actual uh, thing. Actual mission we got left. Oh, Leopold Strauss or Kieran. Now let, let's go see Reverend Swanson. He's he's a bit further away, and then we'll go do stuff back at the camp. Waltzing through here like you own the place, but the O'Driscoll's got designs on it. Oh, ain't nothing like a typical old Irish bloke. Is that all that the, the old Riscals are? Just some Irish fellas. Yep. So Peter, who, who would you say is your uh, your favourite sort of side character in, in this game? Any, anyone uh, in particular springs to your mind? John, obviously, but I played first Red Dead, which was about him. Okay. And if I, if I remember reading something correctly, isn't this game technically the um, technically the first game? Did this game story-wise, con continuity-wise, came actually before Red Dead One, or, or did I am I misremembering what I read there?
Yes, it's a prequel. It ends as Red Dead 1 starts. Ah. You hear, Reverend? Come on. What's the hold up? Excuse me, pardon. Hello there. Hello. Hello. Mr. Morgan, I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your God has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. Well, Morpheus from the Matrix. Free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't he finished. Poker, I think. Look at him. He's finished. None of us force liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But seeing, I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. Oh, we got to play for him. Well, how's about you playing this place? Huh? That seems fair. Yeah, I think that sounds fair. Sure. You want a game? Yeah, let's play. Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, mm -hmm. sit yourself down. As long as you don't cheat. So is, it, is it poker or is it something else? I'm Luther. This is Marvin. It is poker. Fortunate uh, for you both for being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, are you uh, two know each other anyway? Don't seem like a lot best of friends, if you don't mind me saying. Oh, I'm the one at the bottom. You go a okay. long way back. And now you're his chaperone? Uh, Queen of Ten. something like that. Can we play? Yeah. I'll call two cents. He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> he committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. Uh, queen in Ten. Drifted and we've got a pair of queens. Uh, life is a challenge to all of us. Uh, yeah. So, uh, we'll just check for now. <laughs> Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> check. I'll check. He's a okay. decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself. I'm oh. you over a location too. for a random right, encounter. Right. Definitely do here. it on stream. It I stumbled upon it when I played it, and it's crazy. Very easy. Oh, thank you for that, Peter. Um, I appreciate that. Uh, let's bet ten cents. We've got two pairs. I'll call. Okay. Here, look. Hardly two pairs. Big finale from me. Don't laugh. <laughs> hey. Hellfire. Woo. <laughs> yep, there. <clears throat> okay, what have we got? Oh, four and six on suit. Uh, I'm a play slow. Damn it. I'll call. Yeah. And um, we've got a pair of fours. Okay. Gonna start small here. Is that it? I'll call uh, you six. So we can't get a straight. Alright, so so I get two pairs or three of a kind. No. Come on, give us a four or six. Ooh. 
Who raises them? Let's I'm out. Start this low for now. Nah, I'm out. Nah. That was a poor hand. Do we actually have to beat these guys, or are we literally just just playing? Okay, okay. You're fine, just a little more. Alright, what have we got? Oops, seven and five on soup, okay. Ah well. Oh come on. I'm a check. Okay. Come on. What we got? Ooh. Uh, Gotta start small here. Oh, come on. Uh, this ain't seven, kid poker. Five, six, seven, eight. Uh. Alright, no, I've got a pair of fives. Okay. I'll call you. I'll call you eight cents. Nah. Oh. He could be on to a flush. Can give us a diamond? Oh no. Uh, what's that? Two pairs? Yeah, two pairs. Uh... Here, just a little. Just a little. Let's yeah. start this low for now. Hmm. It's going big. Do I call his bluff? Call. Yeah. Let's go, Brett. How about that? <sighs> okay. Oh. oh! No way! Ah! Better than nothing. Clearly, I think we can leave at any time. Damn. Glad I ain't in your seat. Oh, what we got? Uh, Jackson Eight. That's it. I I'll, check. I'll stay in with that. Jackson eights. Uh, ooh. Okay. I've got a pair of jacks. I'll check. Not for me. Pair of sevens. Uh, no tens, so no straight there. Mm. Is he gonna raise? Nope. There. Only just. Yeah. Ah, crap. Damn. I'll take it. So I'm not doing very well here in the poker. Looks like we're doing reasonable, and then we just there we go, don't quite get the the end I'll of give it. You that one. I have to go all big. Let's see what each of us is made of. What have we got? Oh, we've got a pair of eights. Now, let's... Let's Here. just see. Let's go to even 20. You're bluffing. Oh. Here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I oh. think... No way. You're bluffing. Okay. Oh, ho. What we got? Jack, ten and ace. Oof. Well, I'll go big or go home, I think, on this one. Call. No. Oh, he's out. One down, one to go. Alright, we've got two pair at the moment. Yeah. Boring. Go another ten. Good. Good. What do we get? Ooh. So we've got two pair. Jacks and eights. You know what? Let's do it. We're going all in. Let's be brave. All in. Yeah. Okay. Go on. There you go. Whew. You got oh, one. come on. Jacks and tens. Come on. Okay. God damn it! Gentlemen, 
This is getting too rich for me. Well, sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where it? <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, priest, wandering about? Drunken idiot. Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thank you. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. Well, you have no idea. Oh, hi, Pam. Excuse me. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. Come on. Stop knocking my house. Oh. You're going down. Paradise fools. There we go. Oh my god, killed him. I'm gonna keep the law on you. Killed him. Where have you gone? Hey you, get back here. Cool. Come back here. Oh. Come back here, bloody hell. you saw back there? Oh, some You're lovely horses. Man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell us so. I promise. Good. Get the hell out of here. Oh? What's this happened? What? What the hell happened? I, I told you not to talk. Get back here. Hey, you, get back here. You better stop right there. I said stop, damn it. Okay. Tell okay. Anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell us so. I promise. Good. Get the hell out of here. Good. It's the last thing I needed. Oh. All right, can I get, get my hat again now? Reverend, get off the damn tracks! Are you crazy?
Don't know where my hat's gone. I've lost my hat. Come on, my friend. It's just a simple mistake. You can still be safe. Uh, is that a train? What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place. Oh God! It wants to stay. Come on. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunk Come on. bastard! Come on! Come on! Move! Oh, that was close. You idiot! God damn it! Crazy bastard! Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret, who's Margaret? But <sighs> come on then, let's get you up. Mm. You shut up. Okay, boy. Let's go. Kippers, please. Kippers. <laughs> Have you ever had kippers? Because I'll tell you what, they're the most random thing to have, and they're. I don't know whether they even taste quite nice. I think I had them once as a breakfast, I was on holidays as, as a kid. And they're very bony as well. Full of, you know, those those little wispy bones yeah. that you get in, um, uh, in in fish. Just felt like every mouthful, you're just literally picking bones out of your teeth. You got more than that. Tea, please. Tea, yes, please. I need to make myself a good cup of tea, actually. Uh, here we go. Uh, yeah, I'll hitch my horse, don't you worry. I'll hitch up Peter. off to his bed. Perfect. You're not rearing with this horse. I didn't catch the rest of that actually. Well, I was wondering when he'd show up. I was wondering when he'd show up. Is this it? Is this his bed? Yeah, it must be his bed. Why am I dropping him? There you go. You better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. You better buy me a new hat. What happened? Just the usual. Poor <coughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. <sighs> Perfect. 
Okay. Uh, thank you there, Peter. I think I've just got the uh, um, uh, the uh, the thing. Um, Aberdeen Pig Farm. Okay. Um, make sure you have a bit of money there. How how much money would you say is uh, is enough money for, for this thing? Just so I've got a bit of an idea. Uh, yeah, you know, let let me know that. Um, but but uh, definitely, I, I will. Uh, I'll definitely take a, take a look at that. Yeah, because I mean, I mean, what what? I'm, I'm just forgot. I think it tells us when we go up here, isn't it? Uh, well, I've got eighty nine dollars on me. I mean, is eighty nine dollars enough? Or do we need like way more than that, or a little bit more than that? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Eighty nine dollars. Uh, should we do it now? Let me see if I can see where it is. Because uh, we have not explored much of the map yet. Uh, 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 near Le Moyne, is that? I mean... Is it something I should do early on, or, or should we maybe wait until I've explored a little bit more of the map? What What would be your your opinion on that one? Because from the, from the looks of it, if I look at the map that I've actually seen and unlocked, yeah, it's very very little, and I'm guessing. Uh, from what I can see on here. You've got this uh, stable over here, and then it's somewhere kind of around this direction ish. So it looks like quite a way to go. Yeah, let, let, me, let me know what you think. Maybe, maybe should we do a few if more missions? If you can find it, then do it. But yeah, if you don't think you can get there till it opens up, then wait. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. No, that, that makes sense. Okay, right. The map will obviously open up as you go there. Yes, of course. No, I, I appreciate that. Um, okay, so... I, I appreciate that. Oh, so I just want to see how long I've, I've been going for at the moment. Uh, need to ask. Right, I'll tell you what. Um, I think uh, we'll leave it there for tonight. Um... Yeah, we've been going for, for almost two hours. I think that's a really good amount. We've done done uh, a few few little uh, few missions there. So let's just make a little save. There we go. Perfect. All right. Well, that will. Uh, uh, you know what, actually, you know what, let's do one more. Yeah, I'm in the mood. Let's do one more. Let's go see this. Because I've just saw this is the Kieran guy that we've uh, we've been doing. Uh, we, we had to lasso. I think it was in episode one, actually. So let's see what he's got to say Put for himself. Put in a good word, would you? Ooh. Speak. Don't cry, boy. Speak about your gang. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Boy. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, Mr. Mr. Williamson. I, told I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Oh, shit. You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Geld him. Oh, yeah! Do what? Geld, geld him? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, oh! 
Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, you're kidding me, right? A court. You sick bastards! So, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's mm -hmm. at Six Point Cabin. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none taken. <laughs> okay then, partner. Uh, uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, old Driscoll. Uh, I ain't no old Driscoll. But you sure as shit was. John, Bill, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. Yeah. You're gonna pay your buddies our respect. He taking us to Cole? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if okay. you where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll leave. Don't tell us we're gonna go this speed. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. Mm. You sure look like one. Is he an old Driscoll? You smell like... God damn. You smell like one too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Yeah! Morgan! You got throwing knots in your saddlebag. Have I? said that you might... I was asked to give them. And I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time Can we speed up a little bit, please? How about you give it to me instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it? Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey, hey, if, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Okay. Yeah, I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. How you holding up, John? Fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. You damn well should be after all that bed rest. Hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well, when you was having a failure of reason, hiding behind your woman, we were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you, if you was in a bad way. I hope so. But I fear you don't know how to help anyone. Except in yourself. You see, old Driscoll? If this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. Mm. I got an inkling of what y'all do to your enemies when you put those gelding tongs to my parts. Bill, you still got those tongs? I got a knife. Won't be so clean, but it'll do the job. Now yeah. we go left, the uh, road will take us up and round. Okay. How, how they know what way they're going is... Uh... That is admirable, Those really. Hills. Head for them. Save your horses, we gotta climb, boys. You know... Uh, GTA, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of landmarks that you just know. Uh, oh, I'm say? going past there, I'm going past uh, all uh, oh, this shopping uh, mall or this uh, casino or whatever. You don't know nothing about this it's a lot game. harder to tell yeah, well, when I'd, it's just... I'd say you don't know much about the oh, it's a rock! But maybe I know more Have about I seen you that rock before? Is that a different rock? I, I don't know. know. About them, so... <laughs> tell us then, how are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them? You're out to survive like them? You live rough. I like that boulder. That is a nice boulder. Nature. You're out for yourselves. See? This is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is 
Nudge is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Oh, Nothing hello. Boys, we're almost on them. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going okay. in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Yes, sir. Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. Okay. I'll get Will my do, guns John. off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Right. Um. Uh. How are they? Shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, that, I'm that was a long thing. Every moment. Uh, where are these throwing knives? Where are they? Yeah, so still, still working out my, my way round round the all the things that you do. Okay, get down. The cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Where are you strangers? Yup. And go on, Driscoll. Well, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, oh. who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The fellow that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. Uh. Oh, Bill, you can get fast. Okay. I got him. We're here. We don't need nothing else from you. Now stay here. Don't Easy. You damn move.
I'm gonna have my bow ready just in case. Or do I go down? Can't see! Can't see! There's lots of trees! Lots of trees in the way! Got ya! Oh! You can't see. It's so long to actually fire. What you got on you, mate? 85 cents. Nice. Oh. It is a bad thing to do, you know, looting the dead bodies. You know what? Don't know why. I'm thinking, should we put them on the fire? Let's get a few more bodies from over here. Oh, we've got some gin. I like gin. Where's the door? Where's the door? Here's the door. It was here somewhere. Oh! Maybe I should have had me good now. You alright? Sure. Thank you. 
<laughs> Thank you. Come on, Driscoll. He ain't here. You set us up. Come here. What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Come on, Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. Hmm. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. I didn't set you up. You're lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. Mm. Give me a break. All right, then. Hey, I think he could be useful okay. though. I know. Come on, let's get to camp. He have some information the about these old Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp quick. See, Arthur? Yeah, I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. Like you that. Tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing just yet. And right, you are. I hope he doesn't uh, screw us over. All right. What have we got? Chocolate shells, some biscuits. Some flies. Uh, some fruit, some bourbon, yum. Oh, we can't carry any more of it. Clearly we need to drink our, our whiskey. Oh, some money. Eleven dollars. Thirteen dollars. Hey, that's pretty much paid our, our bounty. Another thirteen dollars. Hell yeah. Carbine repeater for a double barreled shotgun. Mm. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my uh, my my repeater. I think. About this money, then they said it's in the chimney. Oh, so take money. Another dollar. So we have to do this. Six hundred dollars. Hell yeah. Well, clearly we're not keeping our, our repeater. I'm going with the shotgun. Unless, can I store the shotgun? on the horse and then go back and get my uh, yeah do that and then can I go back and get my gun hey where's my gun gone 
I'll let you left it right there. God damn it. I like that gun. Oh, there's an Jesco. Oh! Fine reported. Is that just this area? Oh. Ah, so maybe that's like the uh Oop. Easy easy. So I just killed something. A raccoon. Oh. Oof. That's a little wild way to go. Right, well, let's just uh, get out of here. Somewhere down this way, I think. So obviously the law's after us. And then we'll uh, we'll obviously call it a night. I'm still miss that I ain't got my hat. Back. Yeah, good boy. Oh, that's right. Coming. There we go. Oh! Don't go onto the tracks, yeah. Jesus Christ. I was just gonna watch the train go by. Okay there. I can hear it. Can't see it though. Oh, there he comes. Perfect. All right, well, that was a really good episode. I think we got a lot done. Uh, we got our our um, our first like proper horse. So, uh, welcome, Peter. You're now going to be a long-term uh, member of this until I replace you with Tornado, which is <laughs> ultimately the horse I want to really get. A nice big black horse. Dress all in black. I want to be like Zorro. We're talking outlaws. I want to be Zorro. <laughs> um, so yeah, I am really enjoying this game so far. And um, I mean, the, the 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 actual visuals are absolutely beautiful. Um, it's a lot more that you're having to think about, I think, compared to something like GTA, because of course you're thinking you've got to eat, you've got to maintain your stamina, you've got to maintain your health. The, the core of your health, uh, apparently. Then obviously the same for your horse. Um, so th there's a lot more to think about. So it's a lot more intricate, which is which is nice to see. You know that they've really put a lot of thought uh, into this game. Um, don't know a lot of the characters yet, but I'm starting to get a bit of a sense of a feel for how everyone fits in. So I 
I'm really enjoying how everything's going on and I can't wait to uh, continue uh, this journey on. So that is going to do it for tonight. I thank you, Peter, for joining me and for, for everybody else. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all again. Take care. Goodbye.